Hey, what's up YouTube and DFC? Hopefully all you guys are doing great. Um, got my uh, Secret Santa package in the mail. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open that up and see what we got. Um, I think I might know who it's from based on the area where it's coming from, but I guess we'll find out. And um, so this is the second year of uh, Secret Santa through VFC, Vintage Football Community. And uh, it's been a lot of fun um, over the last, I guess, year plus. Just had our one year anniversary um, a few months ago. So um, it's always a, a group that I look forward to checking in on all the time. And um, I just, it's just a great group to be a part of, you know, a bunch of like-minded people and um, giving vintage football its true due in society. Um, so it, it's a lot of fun. So thank you, Jeff, for everything you do and for making the group. Um, I've enjoyed every minute of it since joining the group. So let's get into this box, the Secret Santa box. Um, I was going to wait till Christmas, but... Um, Christmas around this place is always absolute shenanigans with uh, a five and a six year old running around and you know them opening up stuff on Christmas plus us traveling visiting family so it's not always really conducive to wait till Christmas to open up stuff so got a Friday I'm just hanging out around the house we're gonna open this up and we'll see what we got so it came in a small flat rate box All right. So I got a pile of stuff here. Um, let's see here. <laughs> All right. So, uh, all right, this is pretty cool. Um, I think what I might do, everybody, is just put the camera on pause and then we'll just spin it around so I can show you guys. It'll be a lot easier to see the items in this box. So hold on one second. All right, guys, I am back and we're going to look at the first thing I pulled out of the box. That is a uh, Jim Taylor. Um, and actually, if you look in front of that, there is a uh, Packers ticket. Uh, it says row one, seat six, section 480, indoor club seats from Packers, Bears. Uh, from, let's see here, uh, November 9th, 2014, at Lambeau Field, 7.30. Um, so it was a Sunday night game against the Bears in 2014. I'm trying to think of if there is any significance to that game. Hopefully the Packers won that game. Um, I'm wondering if, is that the day they brought Brett Favre back and honored him? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm going to totally butcher that date, though, if I, um, and then there's a, uh, Jim Taylor, uh, uh, what are these called? It's like, uh, I cannot think what they're called, but they're really cool pieces. Jim Taylor, are they Stratcasters or something like that? I don't know. I, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I just cannot remember what they're called. So, but it's a really, uh, cool piece. I always love the photography photography for that set oops excuse me there we go and let's and there's another bag of stuff here so let's get into that <laughs> well, the first thing I pulled out is a bottle cap of Herb Adderley this is a coke bottle cap I believe all the players came under these little bob bottle caps coke caramel colored <laughs> So check that out. That's really cool. Um, I actually thought about buying a lot of these back, back um, a few months back, but I never did. And it's cool to have one of these. Check that out. Herb Adderley. That's an absolute stud corner for the Packers. Love it. This is all stuff that I do not have in my collection, so... At least so far. Um, here is a group of four... Tickets here. Compliments of Bob Swick. So that's who I thought this was from. Bob Swick. Uh, 
I guess these are would be Packers schedules. I'm guessing. These are not this year's schedules, though. Let me take a look here. They're all different. So are these like the last few years of schedules? There we go. The dates are on the top. Sorry, guys. It just took me a second to figure it out. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019 schedules. There we go. That's this year's schedule right there. Cool. And it says compliments of uh, Bob Swick on the front, uh, who's, uh, you know, the creator of Gridiron Greats magazine. So if you're not familiar with that, I urge that you go check it out. Man, these are cool. So I got a whole set of programs or uh, schedules from the last five years. And then there's just a whole pile of cards here. So let's go through them and see what we got. All right, so the first one is a throwback materials of Terrence Murphy, wide receiver. Look at that. That's cool. I definitely don't have anything like that. Love that. Let's take a look at the back. Authentic jersey. Terrence Murphy. I definitely don't have a lot of Terrence Murphy stuff at all. Very cool. All right, here we have a cornerback of Patrick Lee. Rookie card. Good old Pat Lee. I think he went on to another team, if I remember, after the Packers. Definitely do not have that. Awesome. Thanks Thanks so much, Bob. Uh, Najee Davenport. Destined for glory. Um, he was a pretty hard-hitting fullback. Um, now he did, he kind of dropped from glory after the Packers. Uh, that's why it's ironic. This card is called destined for glory. Cause I think he was actually arrested for, uh, defecating in the closet of one of his former girlfriends. So he definitely was destined for glory until that happened, I guess. Um, so really cool piece. Don't have that card either. I love, uh, cards with cool stories though. Jeremy Thompson, Bowman Chrome rookie card. Definitely love Chrome. Man, Jeremy Thompson, another obscure name. I definitely don't have that either. These are really cool. Jeremy Thompson. John Michaels. Look at that. That's cool. Definitely do not have that either. Wow, these are just awesome. Sweet card there. There's just a whole pile of stuff here. Look at that. That is a... That's so shiny. Charles Lee. What is this from? Masters. Numbered uh, 992 out of 1000 from Collector's Edge. That's what it's from. Charles Lee. Super cool card. Check out the shine on that. Now we're going back a little bit. Got an Elijah Pitts card. Beautiful. I do not have any of these cards, actually. Because this is from... Um, was it the 69 top set, I want to say? Um, I don't think there is any Packers rookies in the Team Hall of Fame in that year. That particular year. So I do not have any. Obviously very tough with the blue borders. Elijah Pitts. Awesome card. Here's one from 59 Tops. One of my one of my all-time favorite sets, Dave Hanner. Hog Hanner. Because I believe he was from Arkansas. That's why his nickname was Hog. Beautiful card there. Yep, college at Arkansas. Love that. Uh, 67 Philadelphia. One of my favorite of the Philadelphia sets. Why? Because of the yellow and the green mixed with the Packer colors. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's just Packers all over this card. So Willie Davis, one of my all-time favorite Packers. Um, it's amazing the uh, business prowess that Willie Davis had after football. He's, you know, he owns several businesses and has sat on the board for some pretty big corporations. So Willie Davis, I believe he, has, he went on to get his master's degree too in business. 
So very cool. Ahmad Carroll. I remember when the Packers drafted this guy. I don't think he had exactly the career they thought he would. This is from Bazooka. 2004. Baz Tops Bazooka. So cool. Love that. Rookies and Stars, Ahmad Carroll. Love the Rookies and Stars set. Definitely don't have an Ahmad Carroll. Marcus Anderson rookie card. Love that. Look at that. What is this? This Rookies and Stars again? 2002. Rookies and Stars, yep. Man, I've forgotten about a lot of these guys. That's so cool to be able to add these to my collection. I just don't have any of this stuff <laughs> that I, I've seen so far. Here's a Brett Favre ovation from Upper Deck. With kind of that football in the background. What year is this? 1999 Upper Deck. Love that. Cool piece. Here's another Brett Favre from uh, 2007 Donruss Elite. Very cool. Oh, yeah. There's the man, Aaron Rodgers. This is from Heritage. Uh, obviously, a salute to 1958 tops, I believe. A very tough set in high grade. And, um, yeah, Aaron Rodgers Heritage. What a cool card. Look at that. I'm so used to looking at, like, the Jim Brown rookie from this from this set with this background here. Very cool. Definitely do not have that. Very cool card. Love it. Here's a uh, James Lofton. Top Superstar. It's from the 85 Tops. Very cool. Mm-hmm. A couple of 63 tops. Another one of my favorites. Why? Again, because of the uh, yellow and the green borders. So we got Ron Kramer here. And again, Jimmy Taylor, the man. So cool. These are such cool cards. Very nice. Uh, now we're going back into 57 tops. Fred Cohn, Pride of Clemson. Great card. And Bobby Dylan as well. 57 tops. Man, Bobby, you just have a little bit of everything in here. This is so fun to go through all this. Uh, here's one of those play cards. A six-yard loss, Bart Starr. Uh, I forget. This is the Tops game cards, I guess. I actually don't own any of these cards. So, really cool to have one of these. I am exponentially increasing the uh, depth of my collection with this uh, Secret Santa uh, gift here. James Lofton. I think. Is that James Lofton? Is that Je yeah, it's James Lofton. I was thinking it was Jefferson for some reason. But it, James Lofton. 85 tops. So far, I've run into nothing that I have. Uh, here we got a Clarence uh, Williams. Defensive end for the Packers. Cool piece. And I, I forget what these are called. You'll have to let me know what those are called. Is it Sun, Sunco, maybe? Does that sound right? Sunco stamps? You have to let me know if, or if I'm way off or not. Well, that's really cool. Don Hudson. Uh, this is a ticket. Packers versus Rams. Sunday, 1984, Milwaukee Stadium, noon. So that's the game that it was from against the Rams. And uh, Don Hudson uh, was obviously being featured on that ticket. Just super cool group of random stuff. Love it. And, yeah, got to love this. This is the uh, 61 Packers Lake to Lake set. <laughs> and I've been, I've been really, really tempted to start this set. Um, over the last number of years, but just my focus has been in other areas, so um, I've never have started it, and now I have another one, so that's kind of dangerous. I might really feel like starting that set now. John Roach. 
If only John Roach would have been could have been the Packers quarterback instead of Bart Starr. Can you imagine? Of course, this was from the uh, Sheboygan Lake to Lake Dairy Company. Lo actually, absolutely love this set, Lake to Lake. Very cool. So awesome, Bob. Just, you know, so many cool highlights in there. Just such a, an array of different things. And I know you're a, a type collector, so you have like a lot of different things. And, you know, it's just cool to add examples of all this different stuff. Absolutely love it. So thanks so much, everybody, for following along. Um, I had no idea what was in here. And I need to look a little more into that particular ticket. Uh, and figure out uh, what game that was from. Obviously, it was a Sunday night game against Packers and Bears. And it could have been Favre's game that he came back on, but I think they lost that game, if I remember right. But I don't know if it was that game or not. So I will have to look it up. Oh, there's actually one more thing in the bag here. <laughs> oh, look at that. I almost, lo I almost forgot about that piece. It's a Super Bowl 31... Uh, I guess patch definitely do not have one of those either super cool Bob well thanks so much uh, absolutely love the secret Santa gift um, it's not really a secret because I know who you are <laughs> but um, yeah just right up my alley and super cool to look through this stuff um, I'm gonna need to find somewhere to put all this stuff <laughs> to be honest <laughs> You know, that's always half my battle, trying to figure out new and unique ways to display everything or to store it. So thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys are as elated with your secret Santa gifts as I am. Have a great Christmas, everybody. Thanks for watching.